Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna start with the tip of the day right off the top. Why not? I'm in my car, I'm on lunch break, gonna squeeze in probably like four miles right now. But you probably experience this as well where you're out working, you're out at school, and you have your running gear with you, and it sits in your car. You know, you don't, sometimes you can carry it with you if it fits in a good small backpack, but a lot of times I have to leave my stuff in the car. Well, it's pretty chilly today, 30 degrees in Denver, and so everything is pretty cold. So I know this is a little crazy, but if you have time, if you have time, set all your stuff up on your dashboard and just let the sun hit. Hopefully the sun is out. If the sun isn't out, this might not work. Although I guess you could turn on defrost. Anyway, put your stuff up in the dashboard, let it sit there, and let it let the sun warm up your clothes before you put them on because especially when it's like below 20 degrees out and you're out running, like it gets chilly. And, and, this is interesting and this connects yes to the sketchers I think I'm I would be interested to see some research on how cold temperatures impact the foam and the rubber on the, on running shoes like how does that impact the cushion the responsiveness of shoes through the midsole and the outsole I would just be fascinated to see if anyone's done research on that so anyway I have my shoes up here on the dash and they're just warming up just get just to soften up that uh, that rubber and that uh, that foam through the midsole of these Skechers Ultra Go shoes which by the way we're gonna talk about more here soon Anyway, that's my tip of the day, tip of the day to start off. All right, come on, come on, let's go. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, two points real quick. First of all, the vlog two days ago where we talked about mileage down in the comments, I've only had a chance to respond to about 30% of the comments because there's so many, but do know, do know that I am reading every single one, but I just don't quite have enough time to type out an answer to all of them. But I, don't worry, because what's what's beautiful is that the comments will always be there. And so in a couple weeks, when I make some more training videos for 2019, I'm gonna be able to go back and reference uh, that vlog and read your comments and learn from you guys and learn about what you guys are doing with respect to mileage. So just wanted to mention that. And also was gonna go six miles today. Uh, sorry, was gonna go four miles today. Ended up going six, felt good. Probably would have been a good day to go a little faster like a workout because my feet just were like light on my feet. You know, when you have that peppy feel in your legs and you're just like, okay, I can, I, let's move, let's roll, let's move this thing. So that's how I felt today. And all right, back to, uh, back to work. And then we're gonna talk more here in a little bit about uh, the Skechers and all that goodness. Oh man, intriguing, intriguing, boom. Another package, another package, watch out. Okay, I have owned this red coat, which you have seen in basically every video in the last two weeks because it's getting chilly in Denver. I've owned this for three and a half years and it's basically a very, very thin, lightweight windbreaker. With winter upon us, there's a lot of questions coming through on Strava and here on YouTube about what I wear for winter running gear. And so I'm doing as much research as I possibly can to figure out 
based on the temperature outside, what is the best strategy for a clothing outerwear lineup for runners? And therefore, I acquired a new coat for the first time in three and a half years, and I couldn't be more excited. Couldn't be more excited. It's from a company that I really love, and I'm going to open it right now, put it on, put my Zantes on from New Balance, and go do an additional quick, quick three miles before the family gets home. And then um, I'm not going to give you my full thoughts on the jacket tonight. Uh, that, that'll be soon because I, I want to test it. I always want to test the gear before I give you my opinions. But again, this coat is, this is like a good coat for 50 degree weather when it's just breezy out and, and windy. Um, and it, this, did I already mention it's made by Brooks? So it's, it's been good, but I need, I just need something a little thicker, a little warmer for the winter months. So, all right, enough talking. Let's open this bad boy up. There it is. There it is. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Ooh, baby. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, feeling good, feeling good. All right, I'm not even gonna tell you the model yet. Uh, I just wanna test it out before I reveal, really frankly, any of the information. Bottom line, it's feeling good out of the package and we're gonna go do three miles in the Zantes. And so let's go get this done. Oh man, come on, give me my. You asked, oh. you guys asked yesterday for more true love on the vlog, oh. and so here she is. Cute, she cute, has cute. not seen my, oh my jacket gosh, I love it. until now. I love it. Until now. Not too Whoa. shabby. Not too shabby. Honey, this is, we, now we're talking. Don't tell them what's down here yet. That's okay. a surprise. This like, is my that? favorite part. That's my, my favorite part. my favorite part. It's, oh. it's basically, well, I can't tell you. Turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. Yeah. Who's Baba? Auto focus is the best. Baba. Auto focus is the best. <laughs> this is a little banana boy today. You <laughs> Running vlog, family vlog, unite. 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 It was through the bright green coat, baby. Anything better than grocery day? I submit that there is not. I submit that there is. Better keep the hat on. Hair's getting a little crazy. Hair's getting a little crazy. All right, here we go, folks. Woo! What a day! What a day! I hope your day was great. I hope you had a, you know, just solid productivity and relaxation. You know, it's good to have both every single day, getting things done, but also having a moment to breathe. I'm excited to go inside and just breathe for a second. You know, I don't know. Every single day, oh, the days go quick at times, and I relish the opportunity to sit even if it's just for 15 minutes anyway i'm about to go do that but before i do that i'm gonna say real quick between these two shoes very different feels between the sketchers and the new balance zante and i had the wrong name for this shoe and i actually don't even remember the name of it so i literally just had to run back inside to my computer 
and look up the actual name of this Skechers running shoe. This is how new I am to the Skechers lineup. In fact, this is my first ever experience in a Skechers running shoe. I thought, and maybe I just misread when I bought this in the store, but I thought this was the Skechers Ultra Go because that's what it says on the side of the shoe. You would think, you know, maybe, oh, maybe that's the name of the shoe or the model. No, it is not. It is actually the Skechers Go Run Pure. Go Run Pure. I was looking online for specs today for this shoe and I couldn't find anything. And I was like, why can't I find it? Anyway, I'm sorry. I've, I've been saying, I've been calling this shoe the Skechers Ultra Go. That is not the name of the shoe. It's the Skechers Go Run Pure. And here are some specs, not from Runner's World, not from Runner's World, but rather from the Skechers website. Let's hope it's accurate. Let's hope it's accurate. So this Skechers shoe, the Go Run Pure, Go Run Pure, is a six millimeter drop from heel to toe, heel to toe, six millimeter drop. So kind of like right in the middle of most typical running shoes. And as far as the weight, uh, it's kind of interesting. They, they list the women's size seven on the website as far as weight goes, 6.7 ounces for this shoe. I find that kind of funny slash smart that they would choose the smallest shoe you could ever find for the and for the usually you list like a, a men's size 10 and then that's the way you communicate to your audience anyway sketchers that's all right that's all right as i've mentioned a couple times already it's a mesh upper and again i felt it today through the toe box definitely very breathable I would say in a good way, it feels almost like air conditioning on your toes when it's cold out. I, I find it very, very fascinating how breathable this toe box is. As far as the midsole goes, they're calling it the Ultra Go Cushioning. Ultra Go Cushioning. How would I describe, if anyone has experience with the Skechers midsole, like what type of material they're actually using, let me know down in the comments. I am putting this midsole in the category of rubber, over foam it definitely has a rubber feel but but remember the brooks levitate 2 the ugly sweater i did not like that shoe it was heavy and i don't know i just didn't work for me i know it works for some people i'm not putting it down like it just didn't work for me well i think that this sketchers go run pure has a very nice rubber midsole now maybe it's a blend of rubber and foam that i just it but it, it it appears to be more rubber than foam as far and this is my first impression by the way of this shoe this is not my full review as far as the ride goes in this shoe no bells and whistles but it gets the job done i feel very comfortable in this shoe i don't feel necessarily fast nor nor clunky I just kind of feel middle of the road getting the miles in when I'm when I'm running around in this guy. And again, this is just my first impression, but that is what I'm sensing. Um, it's definitely a neutral shoe. So if you need more stability, this is not for you. It's it's got it's very neutral oriented for the for how you strike your foot. If you pronate either direction a ton, this is probably not the shoe for you. And a couple days ago, someone mentioned in the comments that uh, the only thing that Skechers needs to improve now is, frankly, their logo. And guess what? I would agree. From a marketing, branding uh, mindset, I, I, eh, eh, it's an okay, you know, I don't, it's not that important. But in the modern world, as you're trying to compete against Nike and Adidas and New Balance and Sockety and Ultra and Hoka, uh, you just got to try and put your best foot forward in the running shoe store, meaning, yes, I hate to say it, but the branding, and it, it, it really does come down to your logo at times, at times. And last but not least, just a final first impression is that the insole, the insert here, that comes out of the shoe, like, not bad. You know, it's, it's not too thick, uh, but it's not, uh, I actually, I think I've seen thinner inserts or insoles for in New Balance shoes. Like, this, it's, it feels like it's got a little bit of cushion and it doesn't look like cheap, you know what I mean? And this shoe, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, I picked up for $59. So talk about, you know, a pretty good price point. Talk to me in like maybe three to four weeks and I'll give you my full review of how the shoe is holding up. But the question of the day is this, 
and it actually has nothing to do with running shoes per se, uh, more on the line of preparing for 2019. And again, back to the mileage vlog, back to yesterday talking about what you guys would like to see on this YouTube channel moving forward into 2019 and the comments are incredible I haven't responded to all of them yet I will do that later tonight but please keep them coming as I as you know it's it's time now is the time to prepare and a quick story a quick story before we lead into the question of the day I've been a coach twice in my life, once at a university here locally in Denver, uh, right out of college. I was the assistant coach, not the head coach. Who knows? Maybe someday again. We'll see. And then, all, then unofficially, when I was in college, I was able to coach my brother. And my brother's very fast. And he had big goals uh, in high school. And we did well together, working together. And uh, I would write workouts for him, and he would do the workouts solo. Uh, at 8,000 feet above sea level in Buena Vista, Colorado because nobody else could run with him because he was too fast. And so he felt the need to push himself and to get better. And I felt like I had the experience to do that. And I know we've dabbled on this topic before, but I want to go right into it right now. What is the number one, maybe two questions you have for me about training and running and specifically getting faster, okay? And so, ask down below, and I know, and again, you're probably gonna have to hit pause on the video, think and reflect, think about the distances that you wanna train for, 5K, one mile, 10K, marathon, beyond marathon, you know, I actually have quite a bit of experience at the 50K distance now. So what is the number one question you have for me about training, and yes, all of your comments will be absorbed into the brain and then frankly I will go back and reflect on those questions in preparation for videos moving forward into 2019. Capiche? Capiche. Yes, the vlog is not over and the keyword is going to be custard because I'm on my way to get some frozen custard. We love custard. We love ice cream but we love custard more. And yes, even uh, veteran YouTubers like myself forget memory cards every now and then. And that is why I am filming with the GoPro as opposed to the big camera because I forgot the memory card at the house because I'm importing footage right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. Not only did I forget a memory card for the big camera, the nice camera, the memory card for the GoPro is full. So now I am filming with my iPhone 6, which is, uh, let's just say, has seen better days. Has seen better days, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, all right. We got the Andes, and again, in case that clip got cut off because the, uh, the memory card filled up, the keyword of the day is custard for frozen custard from Andes, our favorite place to get a delectable treat. And um, love you guys, love you guys. Thanks for being here, thanks for rocking, thanks for being you on YouTube. Oh, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here, YouTube. Thank you, Custard!